Welcome back to Daily Language Review, week 10, day 2. Write the sentences correctly. Mrs. L Miss Latimer's class has prepared a holiday <laughs> concert. Woo. That's a lovely film. Something is wrong with holiday. What is it? It has two L's. Thank you. H O L I D A Y. Um, yeah. Yeah, circle is SP because when you're proofreading, that's going to be your proofreading mark that you need to know how to do. Know how to do. LC is a little slash with LC lowercase. There should be a period at the end. You are right. Shh. You are right. Number two, please to come enjoy the show or support the children. Hmm. Please do come or please come. There you go. Please come, enjoy the show, or support the children. Yes, nicely done. Circle, S-P-S-U-P-P-O-R-T. Now watch what would happen if we only had one P. S U P O R T. So if 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 we had S U P, we would underline the vowels, label the vowels, make the bridge, label the consonant on the bridge, and it would be su su u port. So if I split it here, it'd be su port. Or if I split it here, it'd be sup ort. So we need two P's, right? So it's support. All right. Yes, you are right. Please come enjoy the show and support the children. Number three, rewrite this. Uh, yes, because the commas give you a minute to breathe. So please come support the children or enjoy the show and support the children. So generally speaking, when you're reading a sentence, if you see a comma, that's time to take a quick breath. And when you see a punctuation mark, like an exclamation point or a period, you take a little bit longer breath. But you're gonna do like a pause. Please come, enjoy the show and support the children. If there were no commas, you would say, you would hear, please come enjoy the show and support the children. <gasps> So you need the hot second there to like breathe. All right, well, give me a minute. Let me read it. It says, rewrite this sentence so it is not a fragment. Concert in the cafeteria next Friday, 7 p.m. in the evening. How would you do it?
You're close. So, you could say the concert. Is or are we talking about it's going to be? So if it's going to be, we're going to say. Not at. Not going to. What? Will be. The concert will be. The concert will be in the cafeteria the concert will be in the cafeteria next Friday well f next Friday would you say evening at 7 or would you say next Friday at 7, you could say a p.m. or you could say 7 in the, in the, there you go. Next Friday at 7 in the evening. All right, number four, draw a line between the prefix and the root word and the underlined word. Oh, sorry. So draw a line between the prefix and the root word and the, uh, of the underlined word, then explain what the word means. See our future musical superstars perform. Where would we split? You're going to split it between super and star spot on. And then you need to say what? Superstars are, what are superstars? Or uh, stars who are bigger, more popular than most stars, right? So if you're a star, you know, it might just be like, oh, some people know you. If you're a superstar, everybody knows you, right? Yeah, mostly everyone. All right, so a star is, a superstar is, are stars that are bigger or more popular than most stars. So bigger, more popular, than most stars. Any questions with that job? All right, there we go.